This video is about dividing two and three digit dividends by multiples of 10 with single digit quotients. It's important to remember the different parts of a division problem. The dividend, which is the piece being divided, the divisor, which is how much it's being divided by, and the quotient, which is your solution. If you don't know these, you need to learn them now because you're going to have troubles throughout the lesson if you don't. Let's look at our first problem, 70 divided by 30. In my head, I see 7 divided by 3. Remember, we're taking 10 away from each, we're dividing each of those numbers by 10. And I can go 3, 6, 9, and know that 9 is greater than 7. So I'm going to have that equal to 2. But 2 times 3 is 6. It's not equal to 7. So I know that I have a remainder. Okay, and that is a remainder of 1. It works the same way if I want to divide 70 by 30. So I'm going to write that, 70 divided by 30. Okay, and I'm still going to go with 2 because that's my estimate here. And so I'm going to put 2 up top. Okay, 30 times 2 is 60, and I'm making sure that I'm lining up everything here carefully so that as I subtract, it makes it's clear. 0 minus 0 is 0, 7 minus 6 is 1, so I have a remainder of 10, and I'm going to write that as 2r10 so that I know it's 30 times 2 is 60 plus 10. Okay, that's how I check my work. I take this number and I multiply it by this number and if I have an, a remainder I add that. So at the bottom here I have 30 times 2 plus 10 and that's how I check my work. 60 plus 10 equals 70. Okay. If it helps you you can draw rectangles where you have a rectangle of 70 and a smaller rectangle that you break down. And you have 30 here, 30, for, and 10, which is the same. That's 30 plus 30 plus 10, which is 70. Different way to write the same number. Let's look at a different problem. Let's look at 430 divided by 60. We're going to estimate first. So 430, I would round or estimate as 420, and 60 would stay the same. Because I know with my basic multiplication facts that 42 is divisible by 6. And with 42 and 60, I can take off that extra 0, and then I do have 42 divided by 6, which I know is equal to 7. Now again, that leaves me a remainder. Okay. I'm not sure what that remainder is right now because I haven't solved for that yet. Okay. But let's look at solving it another way. We're going to use our estimate of 7 from before. And we have 60 times 7, which is 420. And we're going to line that up underneath 430. Okay. 0 minus 0 is 0, 30 minus 20 is 10, and 400 minus 400 is 0. So again, I have 7 with a remainder of 10. To check my work, I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay. Remember, I'm going to multiply up. So I take my divisor of 60 and I multiply that by my quotient of 7 and then add the remainder. 60 times 7 is 420 plus 10 which is 430. Let's look at another problem. Let's look at our next problem. 572 divided by 90. Okay, The first thing I can do is write out the multiples of 90. 
90, 180, 270, 360, 450, 540. And I'm going to stop at 540 because I know that's close to 572. So I'm going to estimate this as 540 divided by 90, which is 6. Once again, we have a remainder, and I'm going to need to write in that remainder. Okay? What I'd like you to do here is write it out. 572 divided by 90. And we're going to do our 6, which we know is 540. Okay? 2 minus 0 is 2. 70 minus 40 is 30. And five min 500 minus 500 is 0. So I have 6 with a remainder of 32. The reason that I have a remainder here is because I have 6 groups of 90 with 32 left over, but 32 is not enough to go into 90. So I, instead of doing a decimal, I'm just saying I have a remainder of 32. Let's try one last problem. I want you to try this one on your own first. A number divided by 70 has a quotient of 5 and a remainder of 6. Find the number. The first thing I'm going to do to solve this is circle the important pieces. Okay? A number divided by 70. Okay? That's talking about my dividend. Okay? A quotient of 5, you already know that's your quotient, and a remainder of 6, so you're adding 6. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my division table. Okay? A number divided by 70. I don't know what goes here, but I do know that it's going to be divided by 70. My quotient is going to be 5, and the remainder is 6. Okay? Think about what you can do here to determine what number is here. Thinking about it, look back at how we checked our work before. On the previous problems, what we did is we did 70 times 5 plus 6. Okay, Because remember, I am taking these two and multiplying them, and then adding what's remaining. 70 times 5, I know, is 350. And I'm adding 6, so I have 356. And that is my missing number. Now I can go through and I can estimate to check my work again, but that's your choice at this point.